Hey everyone, Danny Webster here for Pocketnow.com, and today we're going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Note, a cross between a large Android smartphone and a tablet, so we'll see how that works out. And this is one of the first devices to come with a stylus for a capacitive screen. Let's get to the unboxing. <laughs> So one thing to mention, when we ordered this from clove.co.uk, it does come with a, a plastic cover, which is a flip cover, so it protects the screen, and it says not for sale, so this may be a promotional item that comes with all these Samsung Galaxy Notes. We'll just set that to side, and if we look at the box, it's pretty plain. Of course, it just had the device with the uh, stylus on the front, and it says Samsung Galaxy Note over here. We have a 5.3 WXGA HD Super AMOLED screen, a dual-core 1.4 gigahertz processor, 8 megapixel autofocus with a 2 megapixel front camera. We have our S Pen, which is the stylus for the Galaxy Note. We also have advanced positioning, full HD recording and playback, and a huge 2500 milliamp hour battery. So we'll just uh, remove this protective do not disturb seal here, and we'll open up the box. And wow, that is a large smartphone slash tablet. So. Uh, that is huge. So we'll set that aside for just a second and we'll go into the rest of the contents of the box. So let's look in here. We have a warranty card. We have our Samsung Galaxy Note quick start guide. We have our micro USB to USB charging sync cable. We have our, uh, let's see, our UK adapter here. And we also have our uh, wall charger. So you probably buy another adapter if you live in the States or uh, whatever. And we have some white earbuds, and it looks as though these are the kind that go in your ear, so uh, those are pretty nice, uh, opposed to the iPhone ones, which kind of just sit on the outside. And we also have extra earbud uh, adapters when we have our huge 2500 milliamp hour battery. So let's get to, uh, I'll start up the phone itself, and then we'll look at it and see how it works out. So one thing to mention about this particular uh, Galaxy Note is that it did not come with a micro SD card, but it does come with 16 gigabytes of internal memory, and you can swap in a micro SD card and expand it up to a total of 48 gigabytes. So if you look at the screen, it's pretty phenomenal. It's really clear. The device seems really fast. Uh, let's just try out the stylus, and the button configuration is very similar to the Galaxy S that was unlocked also. So well, let's just go here, and the stylus comes out of the bottom, so we'll pop that out, and uh, let's see if we're able to draw anything, and uh, let's see. Okay. Let me add a note here. And uh, the stylus works really well. It even has a button on the side. I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't know if it's powered or whatnot, but uh, it has a button in there. So uh, we can begin writing. And uh, let's see. Uh, I don't write very well, but uh, there you can see my name. And let's just try something. And uh, it works really well. Wow, I'm really surprised. Uh, it works way better than one of those capacitive styluses that you would use on an iPad or whatnot. So we can just uh, click out of here, go cancel, and let's just compare this to some other devices. And we'll just go home. And if we uh, compare it to the iPhone 4S, uh, the device is <laughs> dwarfed by the Galaxy Note. The screen is, uh, you know, over an inch larger than the. Uh, iPhone 4S, compare it to a couple of other devices. This one has a 4.3 inch screen. This is the Droid Charge, uh, kind of the same Super AMOLED. Of course, this one has a much higher resolution. And uh, we compare it one more device, and this is the uh, Samsung Focus, which was running Windows Phone 7. So we just close out of that. So this has been the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note, and the device is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and uh, the price tag is pretty hefty, around $800 unlocked from clove.co.uk. Of course, if you are going to replace your smartphone as well as your tablet, it may be a good investment because, uh, you know, each of those devices costs around $400 or more each. So stay tuned for the hardware review and the software review coming up next, and if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up, and also leave some comments down below, and thanks for watching. Thank you.